I received my bottle of methanol blue, but I had to take a dose, so I got this video on oral dosing for methanol blue. And if you see, it says start with one or two drops in the morning for the first day or two. And um, then he goes into how to dose it up from then on. You could take it up to 22 drops, maximum of 22 drops. He goes over the solutions. He recommends buying the the bottle. He just he just recommends buying the the one percent bottle because. Um, It's easier for when you start and uh, keep it simple. He also later on gives a um, website where you could compare how well methanol blue works with any other prescription that you may be taking. So it's a website that does it. But I'm, I'm going to should listen to the video two three times this starts at uh, two minutes and 49 seconds and he goes over the dosing the actual dosing but he does a whole lot more than dosing on this did this guy is just excellent he has a whole bunch of videos on methadone blue and to care for the correct dosage, it is actually, as Dr. Paul Malik said, it is better to buy a solution instead of preparing one. Now the dosage itself, start with one or two drops in the morning for the first two days. So look at this, one or two drops, that is 0 0.5 milligram per day or one milligram per day. There are actually, uh, I have some patients who treated to me that just one drop has been sufficient for them one drop being 0 0.5 milligram per day has been sufficient for them for many of their neurological symptoms. And here I want to read one more person's note without telling their name. So this person, this patient, has neurological symptoms after a vaccine. And this could be after long COVID as well. And they tried various protocols and did not get a lot of help. And according to them, he used the word nerve pain so he said the nerve pain on a scale of 10 is 8, 9. And he's been suffering like this for many, many months. And finally, he said he started looking into FLCCC protocols. And then look at this. When FLCCC started discussing methylene blues and LDN is already there too. He said using LDN, 4.5 milligram, and day 4 of methylene blue, 1200 microgram, the nerve pain has gone from 8 to 9 on a scale of 10 to 2 3. That is how much. Uh, and so they sent me a thank you note for discussing these. And of course, a thank you goes to FLCCC to put those things together, these protocols, and put them out here. So back to the dosing. Start with one or two drops in the morning for the first two days. On the third day, increase the dosage to three drops daily for the next two days. Then continue increasing the dosage by one drop every two days, guided by symptoms that is improvement in fatigue and or cognitive improvement, until you reach a maximum of 22 drops. The optimal dose is highly individualized, so this is very important. Everyone is going to metabolize it differently. Everyone is going to respond to it differently. So you have to start very small and slowly increase this to a level where this helps. Looking for blood pressure support? The best is the only option. Choose the brand doctors and pharmacists trust from the... Mm. Take for six days, low dose, methylene blue, seventh day off to give your body a rest. And keep in mind that it can cause your urine to be blue or blue-green. Some patients may experience a Hirsch reaction. Hirsch reaction may cause fatigue, nausea, headache, or muscle pain due to accumulated toxins leaving the body. If you experience a Hirsch reaction, stop the protocol for 48 hours and then resume again slowly. Do not take methylene blue if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. 
So with this, I also want to add some cautions which are here as well, but are important. So with that dosage, as I said before, make sure that if you can buy it, that is preferable. Then protect your teeth. So methylene blue can color the teeth bluish. So there are a few techniques to help with that. And before that, there are companies that are now making methylene blue in capsule so that the teeth are not colored. So once you've taken the methylene blue drops, rinse and brush after taking the oral drops. That is one way to prevent coloring. Or you can buy your own empty capsules and add the drops in those capsules and use them. And then of course, hopefully in near future, we'll have companies that will offer methylene blue inside the capsules. Now, as you read before as well, methylene blue can change the color of your urine and it can go from blue to greenish. The reason for that is, remember, our urine can change color, right? Sometimes it becomes more transparent and less yellow, and sometimes it becomes more yellow, depending upon the con You can listen to this tape. <laughs> I really recommend it. A um, couple things. I'm using this, I'm using this for uh, my nerve pain in my neuropathy on my foot and legs but that is not my main goal my main goal is that it gives you energy on the cellular level and I need the energy on the cellular level so just to let you know that I did take five drops because I got uh, the bottle and I was so excited I took the five drops and then I saw the video I should have took one drop but I'm telling you this is amazing amazing supplement because my energy level is is Unbelievable. You know, I'd, I'll have to see if it keeps this way tomorrow. But uh, worth the money, worth the effort. Oh, by the way, I am using infrared laser. Some people say red light laser and for my neuropathy and he recommends using it with a laser and he it's, it's amazing I, I i i cannot believe what five drops did to my energy level tomorrow I'll get to test what the energy level is like when I go for my walk